Well, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here checking in real quick. Just going to do a quick update video on some interesting earthquake activity here in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I noticed uh, a couple days ago they were having a uh, pretty good um, spit spat, if you will, of earthquake activity. This here is the overview of Yellowstone National Park seismograph stations here. And you can see kind of towards the bottom of the park there. Uh, within the past couple hours a pretty good intense swarm if you will uh, in the area and that's uh, really interesting here that's for sure because uh, it's been a while since we've seen a uh, pretty good size uh, earthquake swarm in the park there and unfortunately my data stations are still not accessible um, so this kind of sucks I'm just relying on uh, some older information here in the park uh, from these past seismographs these are not even close to real time they're probably delayed by um, 10 15 20 minutes somewhere around there uh, but you can see it seems like right around the south to southwest part of the park now it's even showing up over there in moose creek idaho down there in the bottom but it seems as though uh pitstone plateau is the main area of uh of activity right now so that's I'm gonna pull that map up here real quick Let's see if we can get a little bit better view of it uh, yeah there we go so there's just kind of like the bottom of the pitchstone pitch pitchstone plateau area and you can see a very intense intense sequence of earthquakes and I'm not joking folks that's that that's probably at least at least close to 75 or maybe more earthquakes in that period. I wouldn't doubt it. I'd say closer to a hundred earthquakes uh, there in the Yellowstone National Park. Now these are not significantly large earthquakes, but they are um, a swarm. That's what we look for when we say there's an earthquake swarm occurring uh, right there. Back-to-back -back earthquakes, one right after another for a continued period of time. It will be interesting to see how long this goes on um, into the day tomorrow as you can see prior to that uh, hours beforehand earlier today and last night there was no activity at all so sometimes these things come and go sometimes they go on for months but either way all this is act all this activity occurring at the south end of the park which is a little strange i i can't remember the last time i seen a, a earthquake swarm at the south end uh, you know southern end of the of the park there so we'll keep an eye on it i am still working on getting um my data stations back up and running for now i did just uh add the cascadia subduction zone slow slip event map the current map um this is not real time they got a, they did away with the real time activity uh there along the uh, cascadia subduction zone more or less uh this is within the last day of activity but uh still um Gosh darn it, I really, really, really am missing my live seismograph station sound because the swarm, you can see in real time uh, what's going on. On the globe right now, of course, no activity showing up because this activity is well below 2.5 uh, in the Yellowstone National Park. But uh, the significance of it is the multitude of back-to-back -back earthquakes. Probably, they got to be under 2.5, like I said, but uh, it's interesting a pretty big deal this is kind of what got me started in earthquake activity many years ago when they had that big uh, Yellowstone swarm back in 2007 2008 somewhere on there but uh, anyway folks I'm still working on getting the data I hope to have it by tomorrow um, maybe by Friday at the latest uh, but in the meantime if anything major happens there in Yellowstone National Park like a bigger earthquake I will do an update video on that for now, I'll jump back on a live stream here and hope everyone has a great, safe night. I do have my nephew here, and he's such a cute monkey. Do you want to say hi real quick? He's he's not going to say hi. He's all, He always gets a burst of energy right around bedtime, and then he starts beating me up and jumping on me. So I got to go. Have a great night, everyone. Stay safe.